says a creature of immense proportions, covered in thick fur and possessing an eerily human-like stride, exist in the uncharted forests of North America. An intriguing question, isn't it? A question that has sparked countless debates, inspired numerous legends, and fueled the curiosity of generations. We're talking, of course, about the enigma that is Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch. This creature has been a part of folklore and popular culture for centuries. From the misty mountains of the Pacific Northwest to the dense forests of the Appalachians, stories and sightings of this elusive creature have been reported. Witnesses describe it as a towering figure, standing at an impressive seven to nine feet tall, covered in dark fur and possessing a distinctly human-like stride. But Bigfoot is more than just a creature of North American folklore. It has counterparts in other cultures too. Up in the Himalayas, the locals speak of the Yeti. In Australia, there's the Yowi. And in the sprawling wilderness of Russia, they tell tales of the Almasti. Different names, different locations, but the descriptions remain strikingly similar. Are these mere coincidences, or is there something more to these tales? The legend of Bigfoot has evolved over time, becoming a fascinating blend of indigenous mythology, modern pop culture, and genuine scientific curiosity. Some view it as a symbol of the untamed wilderness, a reminder of the mysteries that still exist in our increasingly urbanized world. Others see it as a challenge to conventional scientific wisdom, a puzzle waiting to be solved. And then there are those who believe. They believe in the existence of a creature yet to be cataloged by science, a creature that roams the wilderness, leaving behind only footprints and unanswered questions. As we delve into the heart of this age-old mystery, prepare yourself for an extraordinary journey into the unknown, where fact and fiction blur, where myth and reality intersect. We'll explore the enigma that is Bigfoot, going beyond the legend in search of the truth. Imagine walking through a dense forest and stumbling upon a gigantic, unidentifiable footprint. Now, let's delve into the mystery that is Bigfoot, starting with the footprints that have sparked intrigue and debate amongst cryptozoologists and skeptics alike. Picture this, it's 1958, and construction worker Jerry Crew stumbles upon a series of enormous human-like footprints in the wilderness of Northern California. The footprints, measuring a staggering 16 inches in length, became the first significant evidence attributed to the creature we now call Bigfoot. Fast forward to the late 70s in the remote forests of Washington State. An experienced hunter, Joe Colombo, discovers a series of 14-inch footprints eerily similar to those found by crew two decades prior. These footprints, however, display a unique characteristic, dermal ridges akin to the fingerprints unique to every human being. This discovery sends shockwaves through the scientific community, prompting extensive analysis and debate. Now, let's take a leap to the 21st century. In 2007, a forestry worker in Oregon discovers a set of footprints measuring an astounding 24 inches in length. These footprints, captured in high-resolution photographs, become a topic of hot debate in the cryptozoological sphere. Each of these footprint discoveries has been met with rigorous scientific scrutiny. From plaster casts to high-tech 3D imaging, every method has been employed to analyze these footprints in an attempt to determine their origin. Skeptics argue they're hoaxes, while others suggest 
They're the footprints of known animals, distorted by natural elements. Yet, there are those who believe these footprints are the tangible evidence of Bigfoot's existence. And here's what's truly fascinating. The footprints, despite being found decades and miles apart, all share uncanny similarities. They're undeniably humanoid, extraordinarily large, and show evidence of a stride and gait that suggests a creature of remarkable size and strength. But footprints are not all that have been found. There are also recordings. Let's venture deeper into the mysterious world of Bigfoot, shall we? In the dead of night, when all is silent, imagine hearing a howl that sends shivers down your spine. This is a common experience of those who claim to have encountered the elusive creature known as Bigfoot. The auditory evidence attributed to Bigfoot is as compelling as any footprint or blurry photograph. These sounds, often described as howls, screams, or roars, are unlike anything heard in the known animal kingdom. They echo through the wilderness, leaving a haunting impression on anyone fortunate or unfortunate enough to hear them. Researchers have collected numerous audio recordings over the years in hopes of deciphering the language of this enigmatic being. Some have even gone as far as to suggest that these vocalizations indicate a complex form of communication, a language of sorts, used by these creatures to interact with each other. However, the world of cryptozoology is not without its skeptics. Some argue that these sounds could be easily mimicked or manipulated. They suggest that the howls could be the result of known animals, like wolves or bears, or even the work of pranksters looking to stir up some excitement. Others propose a more supernatural explanation, pointing to local legends and folklore. Could these sounds be the cries of spirits or other worldly entities echoing through the forest? Or perhaps they are the remnants of ancient creatures, long extinct, but whose voices have somehow survived. Then there are those who believe that these sounds are indeed the calls of an undiscovered species, a species that has managed to evade detection for centuries, leaving behind only fleeting glimpses and heart-stopping sounds as evidence of its existence the debate continues to raise on. With each new recording adding another layer to the mystery, each theory brings us one step closer to understanding, yet further away from a definitive answer. Could these sounds be the calls of an undiscovered species? Or is there another explanation? As we delve deeper into the world of Bigfoot, we are left with more questions than answers. But perhaps that's the allure of the unknown, the thrill of the chase, the intrigue of the unexplained. In 1967, a piece of footage would forever change the narrative surrounding Bigfoot. Imagine a clear autumn day in Northern California, the year 1967. Two men, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin, embarked on a horseback journey that would catapult them into the annals of cryptozoological history. Their mission? To investigate a series of mysterious footprints reported in the area. Their tool? A humble 16 millimeter camera. Their outcome? The infamous Patterson Gimlin film. The film, lasting less than one minute, is said to have captured the elusive creature known as Bigfoot in broad daylight. The figure in the footage, covered from head to toe in shaggy, dark fur, strides across a sandbar with an easy swinging gait. Its muscular frame and apparent size, estimated to be over six feet tall, 
left viewers and experts alike in awe. Since its release of the Patterson-Gimlin film has been the subject of scrutiny and debate. Is it genuine evidence of an unknown primate residing in the forests of North America? Or an elaborate, well-executed hoax? Skeptics argue that the creature's movements are too human-like, suggesting it could be a man in a suit. On the other hand, believers highlight the film's details that would be difficult to fake, especially considering the technology available in the 60s. They note the creature's non-human proportions, the fluidity of its movements, and the apparent musculature beneath its fur. Forensic analysts, primatologists, and special effects experts have all had their say, yet no conclusive verdict has been reached. Some see the film as a pivotal piece of evidence supporting the existence of Bigfoot, while others dismiss it as a clever ruse. The jury's still out on the authenticity of the Patterson-Gimlin film, but it certainly adds another layer to the mystery. While many are convinced of Bigfoot's existence, others question the lack of hard evidence. The world of cryptozoology is a realm of mystery and intrigue, yet it is not without its skeptics. These skeptics, armed with scientific principles and a thirst for empirical evidence, challenge the widely held beliefs about creatures like Bigfoot. These skeptics argue that the alleged evidence of Bigfoot's existence, such as footprints and strange sounds, can be explained away by more mundane causes. For instance, the footprints, often cited as irrefutable proof of Bigfoot's existence, are seen by skeptics as either hoaxes or misidentifications of other animal tracks. They argue that the vast majority of these footprints lack the detail necessary to definitively prove the existence of an unknown creature. Instead, they suggest that these prints could be the result of known animals, environmental factors, or even human pranksters. Similarly, the eerie sounds often attributed to Bigfoot are also questioned. Skeptics contend that these sounds could be the work of known animals, echoing and distorting through the wilderness to create an illusion of something more sinister. They also point to the human brain's tendency to find patterns where none exist, a phenomenon known as pareidolia. This, they argue, could lead people to interpret natural sounds as the cries of a mythical creature. Furthermore, skeptics question the lack of physical evidence beyond footprints and sounds. In an age of advanced technology and widespread surveillance, they argue, it seems improbable that a creature as large as Bigfoot could remain undetected, they ask. Where are the bones, the bodies, the unambiguous photos and videos? Despite these arguments, the believers stand firm fueled by personal experiences, ancient folklore, and the tantalizing possibility of undiscovered creatures. The skeptics' doubts do not deter them. Instead, they inspire a more rigorous search, a deeper investigation, and a relentless pursuit of the truth. And yet, despite the skepticism, the search for Bigfoot continues. Even in our technologically advanced age, sightings of Bigfoot persist. The enigma of the elusive creature continues to baffle and bewitch us, with new reports of encounters popping up even as we speak. Consider the case of a hiker in the Pacific Northwest in the summer of 2023. She reported seeing a large, hairy, bipedal creature rummaging through her campsite, leaving behind massive footprints that were unlike any animal she had seen before. Her account, coupled with the evidence she gathered, reignited the public's 
fascination with the Bigfoot mystery. Then there's the incident in Northern California later that same year. A group of campers claimed they were awakened in the middle of the night by an unearthly howl. The next morning, they found their campsite littered with broken branches and their food supplies scattered. The local forest rangers were unable to identify any known animal that could have caused such havoc. And who could forget the viral video from early 2024, where a family driving through the Rocky Mountains captured on their dash cam what appeared to be a large upright figure moving swiftly through the snow-covered trees. The footage was analyzed by several experts who couldn't conclusively identify the figure, fueling yet more speculation about the existence of Bigfoot. These accounts, and many others like them, continue to captivate the public imagination. They raise tantalizing questions and challenge our understanding of the world around us. Why, in an age where we can map the surface of Mars and explore the deepest parts of the ocean, does the mystery of Bigfoot remain unsolved? Why do credible witnesses continue to report sightings of a creature? Scientists insist does not exist the allure of Bigfoot lies not just in the creature itself, but in the mystery it represents. It's a reminder of the unknown that still exists in our world, a testament to the wonders that are yet to be discovered. So we must ask ourselves, what is it that these people are seeing? Despite the odds, dedicated researchers and enthusiasts press on in their search for Bigfoot. This relentless pursuit, fueled by a blend of curiosity, passion, and a hint of obsession, has evolved significantly over the years. In the early days, the search was all about physical evidence, footprints, hair samples, and the occasional blurry photograph. But today, the hunt for Bigfoot has entered a new era, one where technology plays a crucial role. The tools of the trade have expanded beyond plaster, casts, and trail cameras. Researchers now employ drones for aerial surveys, thermal imaging for night exploration, and even DNA analysis in attempts to validate their findings. In the vast wilderness, drones provide a bird's eye view, scanning the terrain for any unusual movement or anomalies. Thermal imaging cameras pierce through the darkness of the night, detecting heat signatures that may belong to our elusive cryptid. And then there's the DNA analysis. More than just validating physical evidence, it holds the potential to deliver a scientific bombshell, a completely unknown species. Numerous samples have been tested over the years, but the definitive proof remains elusive. But it's not just about the technology. It's about the people who wield it, the cryptozoologists, the enthusiasts, the researchers, and even the skeptics. They come from all walks of life, united by a common goal, to find the truth. The search for Bigfoot is a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of the unknown. It's a quest that transcends borders, cultures, and generations. Despite setbacks and disappointments, the searchers press on, driven by the tantalizing possibility that they might be the ones to finally uncover the truth. The quest to unravel the mystery of Bigfoot is far from over, and perhaps the most intriguing question is yet to be answered. With all the evidence, sightings, and theories one crucial question remains. What if one day we do find definitive proof of Bigfoot's existence? What would it mean for us, for science, and for our understanding of the world as we know it? It's a question that's been at the heart 
of this search. Yet, it's one we often overlook. Imagine the day we unearth irrefutable evidence, a clear photograph, a captured specimen, or even a living, breathing creature. That day would mark a turning point in our understanding of the natural world. It would not only confirm the existence of an elusive creature, but it would also shatter our preconceived notions about life on Earth. Biology, as we know it, would have to be rewritten. The discovery of a large, bipedal, ape-like creature living in North America would challenge the current understanding of primate evolution. It would force us to reconsider human evolution and our place in the animal kingdom. Finding Bigfoot would also revolutionize our approach to conservation. Here would be a creature that has managed to evade modern science for centuries, living in the shadows of our forests. It would highlight the importance and mystery of our planet's wilderness areas, reminding us of the need to protect them. But let's not forget the societal implications. The existence of Bigfoot would captivate the world. It would be a story of mystery, intrigue, and ultimately discovery. It would stir our collective curiosity and ignite a worldwide conversation about the unknown. And yet, with all these potential revolutions and revelations, we must also consider the flip side. Are we prepared for the consequences of such a discovery? Are we ready to face the reality of a creature that has been the stuff of legends and folklore now proven to be real? These are the questions we must grapple with as we continue our search for the elusive Bigfoot. So we leave you with this lingering question. If Bigfoot truly exists, are we ready for the truth?